Folks, Thursday night, welcome aboard. Uh, this is Cacophony. We've been a little bit absent, so we apologize. But tonight we are back in full force uh, to go ahead and try and entertain you for the next two hours. These guys are masters at that craft, and I have full faith that they will pick up on my <laughs> shortcomings today. Uh, if this is your first time here, thanks for joining us. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot this shit about d d we've got a Discord you can join. Hang out. Give us ideas. Uh, give us uh, opinions. Uh, not that they matter because everybody has them. If you want to buy some cool stuff like a throw pillow, a shower curtain, a phone case. I'm getting my third phone case in a week because work won't stop buying me different fucking phones. Uh, they are all <laughs> on sale there. Uh, also on sale there, not these dice, but Murder Hobo Con apparel. I am wearing my Cacophony shirt, not my Murder Hobo Con shirt. Uh, but we've got a plethora of convention-related items there. Uh, we'd also like to thank our sponsors like Pirate Dog Dice, who give dice like New Big Red versus Old Big Red uh, a shot at killing PCs. Almost got Daphne uh, a couple weeks ago. Maybe uh, we get David tonight, or maybe we get Carrie and she dies by her own hand. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, also, uh, oddfishgames.com, maker of the Adventure Sense. If your game stinks, uh, pick up some Adventure Sense uh, for in person play. It is excellent to go ahead and set the mood uh, for your event. Uh, and I usually give them away at conventions anyway because. I like them, uh, and I liked them before they paid me to say that. So uh, it's got to be true. Uh, pick, pick up some adventure sense. Wait, They're, you're getting paid? God I'm getting damn paid, it. man. It's this. This is the money maker, right? Here. God damn. Uh, and folks, they also make something called the Shine System to help you write more, much more better or better, better or something uh check that out they also have a kickstarter coming up soon we will let you know when how to rpg with your cat goes live on their kickstarter and of course uh lest we forget uh we're doing that uh thingy the convention thingy you know where uh it's a virtual convention but what? unlike a series of zoom meetings uh it has its own venue and it is going to be fucking awesome uh <laughs> Got three bands, a comedian, a fortune telling booth. We got vendors. We got games. We got me. I'll be there. So you know, why would you not want to attend? Uh, check out For the that website. Reason. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's a good point. Uh, you can always go to the far end of the venue. It's a big ass venue. No I was shit. about to say, <laughs> big ass venue. Uh, MurderHoboCon.com. Let's go ahead and introduce you to the people who are going to make you say. God, you guys roll like shit. We will start with Caitlin today. Caitlin, who are you? Who are you playing? You're muted. Are your volumes low? I, I, I read those lips. I'm trying to get it set up. There you are. It only wants to pick up the mic from my camera. Mm. What I was trying to do is see when it hear all the background noise. I'll yeah. figure it out. Anyway, <laughs> I'm Caitlin. <laughs> I play Daphne, the tiefling paladin, and Cacophony, and I feel like it literally has been ages. It's been a month. Yeah, on. I feel like it's my problem. I've been it, it is your fault. It's not my fault at all. Yeah. Life's been busy. <laughs> but we're back. I'm excited. It has been a billion degrees outside, so it's, it's nice and balmy here. Yeah. Oh my god, it was like 80, 85 degrees in my apartment because my window units are like, no, we don't, we can't. See, Indiana. It's They're overheating. Below. Yeah. Uh, next up is David. David, the rose between two thorns. What you got? Who are you? What are you doing? Uh, I am playing Zadar tonight on Cacophony, but those of you who don't know me, I am Dave. I am um, usually on BTR. Mostly because they can't find anybody else. They just give it to me. Nobody so, volunteers for that. Nobody game. volunteers. <laughs> uh, I'm on that, and I'm also on the Calamity campaign. Uh, I play Ingbe, the Ravenkin. So, uh, yeah. So it's 
multifaceted folks every once in a while i get a one shot too like just this past weekend the one that jason dm'd so yep. uh anyway we're ready to go for tonight last but not least normally behind the camera tonight she is behind and in front of the camera the wife carrie carrie who are you and who do you play i am carrie i am married to the dm over here his greatest achievement ever and I play Camille, a halfling necromancer who likes coffee and hasn't had any for a long time, so she's kind of cranky. She also hasn't had anything because they're looking for Oric the Stinky, boys and girls. He lives in Freckland, not quite the frozen north, but it's kind of chilly. Now, you uh, probably don't remember what happened last month, so you can always go to the archive and uh, rewatch it like I had to because... I knew about what we did. These guys are <laughs> trekking through the land. They're trying to avoid cannibals uh, that stand between them and the perceived location of Oric the Stinky, an old, old friend of theirs from Cacophony. Uh, they have chosen to go with uh, Nibby uh, up through the mountains in the center of the land, and they are in the middle of a snowstorm. They have fought they have started to freeze they have found a crevice or a cave is what they think uh because they saw a shadow of a great white worm it's not racist it's uh, probably a white dragon um floating overhead so these guys might be uh but we shall see how they do uh, as we begin, uh, all three of you and Nebby plow ahead into this crevice. Everybody give me perception checks. Seventeen. Ooh, okay. Perception. That is a big whopping eighteen. Six. Uh, everybody but Daphne and Nibby <laughs> realize uh, the walls in this crevice are smooth, uh, uh, as though they have been worked. Large blocks of stone, uh, maybe four to six feet high, four to six feet wide, adorn the sides of this passage once you climb over the rubble of the crevice. Uh, as you pursue deeper into this area, it opens up into a vast chamber. When I say vast, I mean probably 15 feet high, 30 feet uh, diameter, and maybe 100, 120 feet straight ahead. The building itself, is, or this area itself, is strewn with rubble. Uh, a quick look up with enough light from the ceiling reveals that uh it's not a cave it's a death star no it's a building a very <laughs> large building uh nebby gasps because <gasps> nebby now realizes where you are and he turns ashen oh great great we're in the halls of the mountain king oh <laughs> so um how big are frost giants in comparison to the cloud giants that we just were in servitude to? Shorter. Oh, frost giants are shorter? Okay. Okay. I think so. Got it. Got it. But still, that's a pretty big haul. So. It's a big haul. Uh, cloud giant can visit here. Uh, yeah, oh, I, wow. <clears throat> I don't remember. I remember the second edition sizes, but I don't remember... Yeah, I think the look. think the what tallest are the storm giants. Storm giants. Yeah, and they're about twenty five feet tall. Uh, so uh, all you can hear is uh, 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 as Nebby out, is Nebby. starting to panic. I like, slap it's him. okay, Nebby. <laughs> we are in Demosif. Demosif. Is Deimosif. that what is Demosif? Demosif is the ancient land of the frost giants. We must leave. I'm not going to argue. <laughs> frost giants are 21 feet, so let's jack up that ceiling to 25. Okay. Cloud giants are 24. So, Got what it. time of day is it? Hell yeah, I have no idea. That snowstorm came right in. You're thinking it's noon. 
Well, can't we just hunker down by the front and wait it out and hope nobody shows up? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Who wants to try and calm Nebby with a survival check? Uh, Sadar will. Sorry, I hit my hit my funny bone. God damn, that hurt. Okay, survival? Uh, only a 12. I'm not that effective. Or am I? You are not. <laughs> <laughs> He's I try to tell there. him a story. <laughs> he he is headed right back for the crevice. He no there no. Uh -uh. No, nope. he's like he's no, doing the no, nope, no, nope, no, nope 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 not gonna happen. I'll give one other person a shot to keep him inside the building. Uh, the structure does have some holes in the ceiling, but for the most part, uh, the floor is covered in uh, snow. Uh, but it is passable for a location of suitable cover and concealment from the great white worm. Okay, uh, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, okay. These are eager in the way. Whoo! 19! Uh, 19 does manage to get him calm. Uh, you give him deep breathing techniques. Uh, you induce laxatives into his system. Well, not uh, laxatives? <laughs> he, uh, he will remain, but he will remain by the crevice noting that the crevice is only about eight feet high and if there are frost giants here they will not be able to pursue them through the narrow winding passage uh daphne we haven't heard from you in a minute what do you want to do nope i think nope. i'm with my oh, are you impressed to talk <laughs> can you hear me yeah uh -huh. i can hear you okay um Sorry. I... Do I see anything interesting? Can I like... Give me, give me an investigation check. You know, Daphne's always casing the joint. I yeah. mean... <laughs> well, you know, you got to look for ways out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 19? A 19, you find a couple of things. One, uh, as you move deeper into this large hall, you find an old throne. Uh, quite sizable, probably would fit the cloud giant pair that you just got done dealing with. Across from that is a set of very tall brass uh, studded doors. Uh, in some areas, as you scuff along, you notice that the floor is smooth and covered in mosaics. In the far corner, uh, as far away from Nebby as you can get, there is an unusual aroma. <laughs> is it Nebby? <laughs> no, oh, across from Nebby. Oh, across from Nebby. Okay. Towards the mosaic floors or whatever, does it seem like it picture like is a picture or says anything like? It's actually an intricate picture. Uh, as you scuff off the light layer of snow falling through the cracks in the ceiling, you notice that it is of exceptional quality uh, in spite of being tested by the elements through the holes in the floor. It shows uh, about five foot tall blue men and women, uh, kind of like giant Smurfs, going about their daily business uh, mining uh, in a mountain. Does the mountain seem like it's like outside? Is there a window? <laughs> there are no windows in oh, the okay. hall. No, we're in the, yeah. Did we notice a mountain before we came inside? Did you notice a what? A mountain before we came inside? I don't know. If it's a you are on top of the mountain. You are oh, in the plateau. So is this the mountain? That we're on is this floor. Is it going to give me a secret passage? Insight check. Where everything goes downhill. Not insightful. Seven. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I like that answer. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Mountain. There's fucking mountains all over the place. You aren't sure if the mountain's here or it or not. Uh, as you continue to scuff off more, uh, you find a circular motif. Some might call it a medallion. Uh, it is inlaid with a large gem and two crossed battle axes. The gem is down below. Or across the top of the circle is Deimosif, D-A-E hyphen M-O hyphen S-I-F. Indeed, Nebi is correct. You are in the Hall of the Mountain King, as David said. 
Uh, Zadar and Camille, you have calmed down Nebi. He is not going anywhere. He has got one foot in the crevice, and that's as good as it's going to get. Uh, he is going to be worthless at this point in time. What would you three like to do now? Um, can we see what the weather is like outside? Is the, the snow Light still... Light snow filters down from the holes in the ceiling. Okay, so it's not that that blizzard that that <laughs> rushed us in here. Okay. Nope. All right. It is, it is starting to lessen. All right. I say we go back out then. Keep going. Yeah, that's the only way we're going to get Nebby. <laughs> Nebby is in favor of that. Okay. Uh, you do not need perception checks for what happens next. Sadly, the crevice crumbles. Uh, and a plume of dust comes from where you were to where you are. Uh, any light filtering through that crevice is now darkness. And Nebby shrieks like he's in Fifth Element. And he's Ruby Ridge. You motherfucker. <laughs> yep, I have trapped you in here. Boop, boop. The railroading is complete. Uh, Nibby freaks the fuck out and begins to pull stones. I'm sure. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work, Nibby. Uh, meanwhile, Daphne is still in the center of the hall. Okay. Clearly, I just look out of place walking around like, whoa. The throne itself is carved and inlaid with two things, wolf heads and a dragon head sitting near the top that looms over anybody who would sit in that chair. The oh, throne is quite intricate. I sit in that chair? Sure, jump on up because it's about 12 feet up there. To I was going to say, thing. you're probably going to need a boost to get your tiefling butt up there. <laughs> Give me an acrobatics check in it. Should be pretty high. Wow. All right. Not going to happen. It's a solid three. Wow. Uh, not even remotely close to being able to jump. <laughs> yeah, literally, up. like the weakest <laughs> jump ever. Like, did my feet even fully come off the ground? Probably not. Maybe I really just want, like, like a calf stretch. Yeah. People <laughs> can't jump. <laughs> uh, Camille, and, Camille and Zadar, what do you want to do? Uh, uh, um, try to find some way out of here. Uh, she concurs. Uh, do you three want to start removing stones? Yeah. I got a feeling it's going to be an exercise in futility, but I would okay. disagree. You would disagree? Would okay. Disagree. From my right. vantage point. I'll give it a try uh, at first. If it seems like more and more is just coming down, then I'll be like, throw up my hands. Like, sure, D12 against me. I'm done. All right, D12. Fine. Well, mother. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, you start to remove stones, but you notice more stones take its place as you are playing Stoneworks Jenga or Tetris. <laughs> right, right. Uh, Daphne, give me a uh, another acrobatics check if you want to try again. All right, I think I got my headset to work. Yes, you did. You did this time. <laughs> oh, it's really loud. No, no, you're good. You're good. That's fine. Do I want to actually roll dice this time? Probably. Maybe. Yeah. Although, really, I should be getting a good roll next, right? Is that how D and D Beyond works? I don't know. Sometimes that algorithm is in your favor. Sometimes it's not. <laughs> I did my well, test okay. rolls and not. <laughs> An eight? Yeah, that's not even remotely close. You, uh, you, you notice that the front section of this throne is quite smooth and there's no handholds. Now give me a perception check. Okay. 17? You hear a noise. Uh-oh. I don't even know what kind of noise it is. Uh, do you have dark vision? Yes. How far? I, uh, isn't it like, I don't know. <laughs> Why do I want to say 60 feet, but can I even actually see that far in reality? 
Uh, 60 feet is going to be good enough because you were at the halfway point of this 120 foot wide uh, hall. Ready? You see four eyes looming up yes. out of the darkness from where the odor is coming from. These creatures look like they have four legs covered in thick, heavy fur and big pointy fangs. Uh, oh my god. Little puppy dogs! Roll initiative against me, Daphne. Puppy dogs! So is Am this I like... adding my initiative into it? My plus? Mm -hmm. To 21? You will be able to react first because I got a three. Uh, what would you like to do? They're coming. Do they seem aggressive? Oh, yes. Oh. They are now lumbering towards you at full movement speed. Is it more than one animal or one animal with two heads? <laughs> two animals. Two, two animals, but you, uh, Camille, and Nebby are busy fucking around in the crevice. Yep. Just like I had hoped. I thought it might have been Fluffy from Harry, Harry Potter. <laughs> like, <laughs> nope. You can try and pet it. Maybe we just woke it up. Probably did. I'm not good at when I get woken up in the morning. Mass rank. That's true. How many are there? <laughs> Sorry, did we say two? Okay. Those. Oh, just two. <laughs> yeah. Just two. Just two. Really you heads? say just at our level? Yeah, just two. Two. Okay. At, um... at your level in a normal party? <sighs> yeah. No. No problem. You three are in probably deep shit. <laughs> Great. Because you know Nebby's not going to help. All right. I guess I'm going to cast my channel divinity for my sacred weapon. Sure. Okay. Just Is that all that happens that round, or do I attack as well? I always forget. Uh, that Well, they're 60 feet away barreling towards you so if you have a ranged weapon yes i will let you attack but melee not even close uh, unless you're capable of moving 60 feet in one turn <laughs> yeah what'd you say daphne a hand axe you can throw it okay Twenty-three to hit. Easily. I guess twenty-five technically. Okay. Uh, all right. Seven damage. Okay. Uh, they accelerate rapidly at you. Camille and Zadar, give me perception check. Oh, they don't even know what's happening. At at disadvantage. Uh oh. Uh, 20, not natural. At disadvantage? Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, Five. Uh, 19 at disadvantage. Uh, Zadar, you hear something. Uh, Camille, you're too busy moving rocks, and Nebby's ass is wiggling around in front of you, Gross. desperately trying to get the hell out of here. Uh, new round. Uh,. Daphne, the polar bears are quite quick on their feet. They are going to be in melee range next round, and they are going to maul the shit out of you. What would you like to do? Do I like bear. yell for my party members to come? Sure. Free action. That's my reaction? Yeah, that's a free action. Oh, it's a free action. Okay, yeah. I'm like, guys, there's bears in the house. Uh-oh. Do they hear me? Uh, we'll decide after you do your action. All right. And how far away are they now? Uh, they're about 30 feet. Oh, so they're still kind of far. Um, Does my steed attack? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I just cast Bless. Does it also reach Zadar, Camille? No? 
Mm -mm. It wouldn't. How far away are they from me? About 65 feet. If I like try to go towards them, what's going to happen? Like I'm towards, facing the bear, but I'm like walking away. Towards Zadar and Camille? Yeah. Well, you can get probably, I'll give you half your movement. Okay. A, as you that. cast Bless. What if you cast it on the bears? They'll oh. all die and <laughs> no, don't do that. I can throw this shirt away. And... <laughs> Is that what you want to do? No. What? I want to back up, but I'm not casting it on the bears. You're casting it in the area of Zadar, Camille, and Nebi, right? Well, will I even be close enough? I have to be 30 feet. Oh, you will not. <laughs> yeah. So, shit. Um, I guess, can I, instead of do divine favor sure. on myself, right? Because that works. And then still back up, I guess, my 15 feet if it's half. Sure. Like staring at the bears, but like moving. So maybe they don't notice I'm actually moving. You notice one of the bears is slightly injured uh, with a great big slash wound from your hand axe, which you don't know where that thing went. Uh, Zidar, perception check normal. Uh, Camille, perception check still at disadvantage. Uh, 11. 13. Uh, both of you hear something, uh, but I don't think your dark vision is going to pick it up. Uh, you can clearly hear Daphne screaming, ah, she's uh, so Daphne dramatic. What is happening now? Oh, what's, what, what she's doing this time? <laughs> Daphne, you notice that one of the bears has just put on the brakes and is now sliding at you head first, uh, rising up on its feet as it does. It is something out of a carnival, uh, and it gets to attacks. Uh, 19 and a 17, and a shitload to add head. stuff. Uh, you are going to get clawed and mauled. And you know what? I'm going to use the new murder homo con dice. Let's see how these bitches roll. Uh, how, many, how many hit points do you have? You should be 46. at full. Ah, you'll probably be fine. Or you'll die. Oh, yeah, murder Hobocon dice we'll aren't that great. Uh, 11 plus 10. 21 hit points. Jesus. Uh, hellish rebuke uh, it? Yes, you may. All right, awesome. Sorry, sorry, you said 23 hit points? 21. 21. I'm trying to get myself more, apparently. All right, and hellish rebuke. 14 damage. Mm, that's nice. 21. New round. Camille, Zadar, give me your initiative rolls. You can clearly hear Camille shrieking in pain. You mean Daphne? Daphne, Daphne sorry. I mean, maybe Camille is. She's like, oh my gosh, look at my companion. <laughs> my heart. Are we doing my initiative? Heart. Is that what we're and doing? The, you, yeah, you two are doing initiative rolls. Uh, 21. Uh, but the nine, nine. Still beats my three. New round, Daphne. You've been uh, mauled and bit by one of these fuckers. The other one is going to be in range this round. You can hear your compatriots, except for Nebby, uh, coming to your aid. What would okay. you like to do? Attack the bear that's, I guess, closest to me. Sure. The hell is okay. the beak one? Yeah, I guess that would be that one, right? Yep. All right. Uh, wow, those were freaking awful. Only need a 12 to hit these bears. Well, the one, because I get plus two, so 13 and then 10. Uh, 13 hits. Okay. The claw marks in your face are drizzling blood into your eye, making it difficult to focus. As you see your foreseeable doom. So, what is this considered? Radiant damage? Okay, so, sorry. Six. Why am I. Isn't this just bludgeoning damage? Slashing. All right, six slashing and three radiant damage. Okay, got it. 
Uh, Camille, you are headed that way, and you can see the outline of Daphne being mauled to death. What would you like to do? Um, please attack the bear that's on me. Fireball. Fireball was ceiling. Fireball was ceiling. Uh, Fireball was ceiling. Uh, I will. Let's see. Do I have a... Daphne's name will live in infamy, but of course she'll die. Do I, get a do I, like, I have fire resistance. Not fire. That'll proof, help. But. Okay, so That'll I have help. a light crossbow. <laughs> sure, go ahead. What? what? <laughs> and you miss. Oh, it's, it's a G6. Come on. <laughs> hey, it's, it's, it's a ranged weapon. That'll work. No need to get up in its grill. Aw. I only got a. Uh, Daphne, you hear a crossbow bolt zip over your head. Uh, Zadar, you have also uh, seen the outline. Uh, you guys are still pretty far away. What would you like to do? Hmm. Uh, yeah, like how far away? Or am I over 90 feet away? Or am I 60? That, or? You're about uh, 55 at this point in time. Okay. Yay, fun math. Fun math. Math is fun. All right. So noticing this and seeing the largest fuck polar bears and thinking, ooh, marshmallows. Uh, he starts. Lisa thought, what is it, Coke or Pepsi Roby. Coke, right? Coke. Yeah. Coke. <laughs> Start uh, rolling his hands together like that, and a big green chromatic orb, glowing orb, forms in his hands, and he hurls it towards the the polar bears. Okay. Uh, I am casting Chromatic Orb. Uh, acid damage. They are split, so can you hit one or both? Uh, let's see. Because one is on top of Daphne. Oh, no. Okay, that I did not know. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so if they're separate, I'm going for the one that's not on Daphne. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Uh, the, the die roll says that bitch is coming after you and Camille. Oh, okay. So, so this is the one that's coming after us. All yes. right, all right. Uh, let's see. It says it's a range in an area of ninety feet. So yeah, you can hit it. All right. I get a spell save. Uh, no, it is to hit. It is okay. to hit. So, uh, let's see. Uh, twelve plus. Twelve's good enough. Seven. Well, well, seventeen. So, <laughs> okay, that is. 3d8 damage. All right. D8, D8. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I am trying to use actual dice. So, all right. So, let's see. You youngsters. Yep. I used yeah. to use dice until we we're, were online. It just became more convenient. 17 points of acid damage. Got it. Uh, the one lumbers towards you and Camille. It will not get a melee attack this round, but we'll be on board for next. Uh, Nebby, seeing the problem, is furiously trying to go ahead and dig a way out. Uh, the He's other the bear... He's useless guy ever. He saved your ass a couple he saves, times. Uh, he saved our asses a couple of times. <laughs> Uh, Daphne, yours attempts to maul and crawl you. An 18 and a 17. Because <laughs> I hate you, that's why. I know. Uh, uh, you're going to be hurting now. Oh, crap. She was already what? hurting. No, she was at full strength. Uh, 21 more points. Oh, shit. Dude, you hit her for like half the first time. Right. Mm -hmm. I get you for another away. Fine. So how are you looking? Hey, uh, not good. How does the bear look? Uh, the bear's not looking so hot. Uh, top of the order, Daphne. What do you want to do? Uh, the only heal yourself. Thing I can do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Literally, I'm gonna do lay. Touch yourself. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna touch myself. 
Hey. Uh, Camille, you got a bear coming right at you. So, what's Daphne's bear doing? Uh, it just slashed the living shit out of her. Well, yeah, I know. So, in relation to me, where are the two bears? Uh, one of them is going to be in melee round. This round, odd you even, uh, Zadar. That's a six, so it will be going after Zadar this time. It did not much care for the acid. Daphne's bear is, uh, what do we say, about 60 feet ahead? Or 57? Five, I thought you said. <laughs> Daphne, are you still pulling back as you fight? Um, I would attempt to if I was able to move. She's but about I feel 40 like it'd be feet like... away. Okay. So hers is like 40-ish feet, and the one in front of me is how far? Uh, about six feet. Ugh. But it's Hopeless. going after Zadar. <clears throat> Disengage, disengage. <laughs> All my stuff is not good for interior. You attack me, can't you? Or the one on me. That's what, oh. gonna, that's what I want to do. How much hit points did you get back, Daphne? Um, I gave myself my full 35, so I have 39, because I was gotcha. at 4. <laughs> uh, so, let's see. If I if I cast invisibility on myself, do I get a second action? Nope. You can you move. Can disappear, that's it. Okay. I will disappear and move towards Daphne. Cool. Uh Zadar, you're up. That uh acid covered bear uh is trying to that's kick terrible. the shit out of you and it will be on you. Okay. Uh with that, Camille is at six feet away from it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, you don't know. Oh, shit. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, she went invisible and whoop, started moving. Crap on a cracker. Okay, that that kind of kills that idea. <laughs> All right. Firebolt. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, 18 to hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that is 2d10. Uh, let's see. Ooh, okay. 11. Uh, 18 points of fire damage. On fire and acid. Uh, bear's turn. Oh, everybody roll perception check. Their owner is going to be Pissed. 16. Plus 15 plus 8, so <laughs> I'm well aware of what's coming. Uh, 20, not natural. A uh, loud crash behind you in the crevasse. Uh-oh. Nebby is screaming. Uh, we'll start with Daphne first. Let him scream. Yeah, Daphne might not get hit this time. Uh, 3 plus... Seven is ten, and nine plus seven is sixteen. Sixteen hits. Oh, wah wah! Yeah, you got lucky there again. That's uh, eleven hit points of damage as it claws the shit out of you, uh, Zadar. Oops. Oh no. Eighteen. Um, uh, and I'm... thirteen adds seven, so twenty-five and dirty twenty. I'm uh, gonna uncanny dodge. So, the first or the second? Ooh. Which one's the highest? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which one. Uh, let's go for the first. <laughs> so you uncanny dodge the first. Mm -hmm. And then run right into the, the fangs uh, miss you, but the claw connects. Okay. Uh, murder hobo or murder hobo con in a two eight plus five is 13 hit points of damage as it rakes its claws across your face bringing us to daphne uh you are up nebby by the way is yelling for assistance well tough shit dude walk away he cannot his leg is pinned in rubble Wait. oh shit well, maybe one of the bears could chew it off for him. Uh, if you leave the bear alive, it will. 
He said 12, so 11. Uh, thir er, yeah, 13. 13 is. Seven slashing and four radiant damage. Ooh, your bear does not look good, but it is still alive. I can't believe I keep missing one hit every time. Camille, you're up. Uh, only you know which direction you were traveling. What would you like to do? So I assume it's rescue Nebby and leave these other two fucks for themselves. Oh, uh, fuck Nebby. Nebby. Um, so I go to the one on Daphne and I take my dagger to stab it. Okay. Go ahead. Now, when you okay. attack, your invisibility is going to drop. I know. <laughs> Bear's gonna be like, ah! I get 16. <laughs> that is. And I get. Uh, da, 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 uh, Weezer, you're kind of in the way. I think I have too many dice. Uh, with a great groan, the beast's eye is stabbed out and it falls yes. against the feet of Daphne. Zadar, mono on barrow. Mono on barrow, huh? All right. Uh, with that, I am going to hit him with my scimitar, or try to. Uh, Nat. Nice. Okay. Is that sad that his companion died? Oh, he you mean his yet. mate? Yeah. Oh, yeah, like that's bigger. horrible. Oh. All right. So damage, damage modifier. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. Mm -hmm. I like to believe they're little gay bears. <laughs> yes, they're care bears. You're killing polar care bears. Care bears weren't necessarily gay. Yeah. So 18 I, plus 12. I, I didn't say gay. 18 plus 12. You said mm -hmm. maybe they were gay bears, and then you said Five. polar or Yeah, whatever. You said polar bears. I blame okay. you, Frank. <laughs> oh, okay, how about gummy bears? I like gummy bears. There you go. Uh, two hit points left. Uh, Nebby is still screaming and yelling. Uh, the massive wait, wait, polar bears wait. taking aim at Zadar. <sighs> Seven and a 14. So 14 and 21. Well, the 21 hits, and I'm going to dodge that for half if I can. <laughs> sure. Do you want the first one or the second one? Oh, all these multi-attacks. God damn it. <laughs> second. <laughs> I went first for the first one. So you're dodging the second one. Uh-huh. Dodge the claws. Okay. Uh, the, the bike comes down. Ooh, 11 hit points of damage as oh. you hear bones crunch underneath its massive jaw. Yeah, top, <laughs> top of the order, Daphne. Uh, Nebby is screaming. Uh, Camille has appeared out of nowhere and stabbed the bear, uh, destroying all your hard work and taking credit for the kill. Uh, you hear Zadar scream in agony. What would you like to do? Um, how far away is the bear on Zadar from me? Uh, 60 feet. Or no, uh, uh, we decided 45. Okay. Uh, I'm like not at all made for range attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Do, do, do. 
You know, it pays to know what your abilities are. And I'm talking for me because, yeah, I had I had a reaction. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Just two bears. I don't know why you guys are whining so much. I I'm going to kick my... your ass later. <laughs> Wait till you see the babies that you've Aww. now orphaned. That's okay. I'll take them with me. I guess I go I don't know how bad does the one that's on Zadar, Zadar look like is it gonna die soon or no oh yeah it looks really bad so like if I left him he'd be okay sure <laughs> sure go ahead I don't I don't know <laughs> can I look at Camille and be like should we is it male or female on Zadar mm-hmm. male Probably has so many hit points. Uh, we already killed Mom. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be able to feed the babies. We just need to kill him. Maybe she was pregnant. Ooh, can I gut the bear? Well, that's sure. not going to help anything. <laughs> Unless the babies are still alive in her belly. You, you, can, you can have uh, Princess Leia earmuffs from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, but nice. then like what do you want to do, Daphne? I'm going to skin the bear and gut it. Okay. Uh, animal handling. Yes. Uh, Camille, you're up next. So, is the Dar's bear still alive then? Uh-huh. 18? Yeah. Very nice. It's a hold of me. <laughs> I guess I'll have to try to do something about that. How far away is it? 45. Oh, if I have anything. Hmm. You got your crossbow. I do. I guess I'll try that. Weezer, you're in the way. Please be a one, please be a one, please be a one, please be a one. It is a nine. <laughs> the bolt skitters across the uh, tiled floors that are. It's up to you. You miss. It's going to fuck you up. All right. You're muted. <laughs> You're, I, I can't hear you. Nope, uh, that was on purpose. Uh, did you roll a one? I rolled a one. What was your attack? Uh, my attack modifier? No, what were you doing? Oh, uh, dagger, green flame blade. Oh, yeah, that is skittering across the floor. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and that means you're unarmed, and this thing... How many hit points you got left there, boss? Uh, we'll just say... Like, less than 20? You <laughs> just got 18. Uh, I got 20 and a 4. <laughs> Reaction, shield. Okay. Uh, well, it's a nat 20, so... <laughs> I mean, if that helps, I don't know. <laughs> nat 20, that bitch it hit you. Uh, you know what? I'll let you decide. Uh, odd even. Roll odd any even. die. Odd even. All right. Uh, uh, okay. Odd. Uh, bite. <laughs> Ooh, 11 hit points again. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> uh, Daphne, you have successfully skinned the polar bear and garnered yourself a rather nice pelt. Uh, the female was not pregnant. There are no embryos in there. Thank God, asshole. Uh, hey, life's tough. Mm -hmm. uh, as Daphne finishes up her cutting and stitching, Camille, you're up. Okay, well, I guess I have to go after Zadar's. Probably. Uh, oh, by the way, he threw his dagger to you. I, I don't know if he wants you to throw it back or what. Okay. <laughs> Awkward. And am I, how far away am I still? 
Uh, 45 feet. <sighs> Let's go old fashioned. How about Ray Frost? Sure. Uh, darn it, I'm so old. You want me to spoil it for you? Yeah. Yeah, you're throwing Ray Frost with polar bears. It's not going to work. Ah, oh, I didn't even think about that. Uh, but on the bright spot, you have made it very icy. Uh, Zadar, I wouldn't fucking miss, but you don't have your dagger. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I do not. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, yeah, so let's go for something that can't miss. <laughs> Magic missile. It's dead. Okay. <laughs> well, that was easy. Should have did that the previous round. But Prob no. Probably, yeah. Uh, the magic missile finds its mark and implodes onto the polar bear's cranium, uh, killing it. Uh, D12 against me. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna... like polar this... bear bits everywhere. Uh, now that whether or not this thing is going to fall on top of me, probably. Oh, I was right. imagining it being like when it's like confetti, but it's like polar bear flesh bits. Oh, yeah, uh, he's got to be covered in brain matter. Pinata. Uh, no, it falls directly on top of you, pinning you underneath oh. the massive frame, causing zero damage, but you are caught. Uh, <laughs> new round, Daphne, you finished up gutting your polar bear. What would you like to do? I guess <laughs> go to the next polar bear. Uh, you do not see Zadar. Zadar has apparently fallen in battle. I really want to like is Nebby still open. screaming? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nebby's still yeah. screaming. I want to like cut open the polar bear and be like, "Hello!" and <laughs> find the dar. Give me an animal handling. Hopefully, you don't <laughs> go. Nothing go 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 go. I was like, I'm probably gonna stabbing you. I'm so sorry, but I'm like Luke inside the tauntaun. I can see it coming. <laughs> uh, Fourteen. Uh, 14, uh, this thing's pretty dinged up, so you aren't going to get a usable pelt out of it. You no, can but I just want to, like, open the door like, hello! Uh, you? I even you know what? boots. I'll, I'll give you a d12 against me to see if you comedically handle that. 12. <laughs> dice give up, dice take it away. Nine. Okay. Uh, no, you start cutting on it, but you still do not see uh, Zadar as he's. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Camille, you have. <clears throat> Did you want to pick up his dagger first or go see him first? Because you notice that he is no longer there, uh, but the beast is not moving. <laughs> and I'm just <laughs> cutting, hacking into it. I'll pick up oh, the dagger God. and then go. Uh, okay. Uh, as you guys get up there, Zadar, give me a strength check. Oh, <laughs> oh man. All right. Strength. Huh? We're well, doing shouldn't that. it be a little bit better? Because I gutted away at some of it. So yeah, does he get yeah, advantage on the strength check? We'll see what his role is. All right. Uh, it, it, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> uh, Camille and Daphne, give me investigation checks. Oh boy. Nebby's screams are getting to be really annoying. How is he God. still screaming? I mean, come on. What was it, Daphne? Uh, terrible. Uh, 10? Uh, you are happily 17. dissecting it like a serial killer when Camille points out, whoa, 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 easy on there, because she now sees that Zadar's face is underneath the paw of the creature. Uh, Zadar, give me another strength check. Oh. Uh, 17. You managed to lift the heavy paw off and over to one side and scream, watch out, you're going to be a moil. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm doing the whole, and I thought these things smelled bad on the outside. <laughs> uh, now uh, that you have rescued Zadar, you guys can help him lift the carcass off. Uh, Daphne, uh, as Camille pointed out, I'll give you boots, maybe, or uh, heavy gloves. Can it not... be like a belt, boot, or a bra? Covers, like okay. they're like, like leg warmers, but oh, leg warmers. Boot. Yeah, you can yeah. do leg warmers. Okay. 
they're pretty beat up but and covered in blood some i mean i'm a tiefling it's i feel like leg for leg me warmers. i love it yeah 80s leg warmers yeah. you are jane fonda now uh nebby continues to scream and yell oh my who's, god really who's jane fonda no <laughs> nice <laughs> jennifer beale then oh jennifer beale's a good choice yeah jennifer beale's yeah okay so we're looking for nebby <laughs> Nebby is screaming from the crevice. Somebody just fucking knock him out. <laughs> Get that crossbow. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Just I'm make kidding. him shut up. I'm kidding. Uh, uh, Nebby's attempt to dig his way out has caused a small landslide, trapping him with both legs underneath the rubble. Oh, Lord. He is okay. going to require assistance as he's and got I'm a not... lot of rocks on him. I'd be like, wow, I knew you were like kind of short, but I feel like you're extra short. What happened? Only his torso's there. He's like the guy from Alien. Oh, oh Robocop. B Bishop. <laughs> That's right, he's Bishop from Alien. Okay. Uh yeah. Who wants to try and dig him out? Uh I mean, is he really gonna really. be useful to us anymore? Well, yeah, because he can't get out that way. Yeah, so, I mean, he can't tell I mean, us where to go. Do you have Mage Hand, Snar, or no? He, I'm making he, that up. I have Mage Hand, but Mage Hand's not going to lift a not going to be strong enough. Strong enough, no. Mage Hand can only lift 10 pounds. You guys are on the plateau, so you aren't really sure which way to go do after that. Do we have a rope somewhere? Oh, I'm sure you do. You have the uh, short and long intestines of the bears. Ugh. Let me just casually braid this together so it's sturdy, guys. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> start start we weaving it together like you're making a, a crawler or I something like that. I say we just like leave them here. Stuff some intestines me. in his mouth so he's quiet and we go. He's, he's, he saved our butt. So, I mean... Fine. <laughs> uh, very important role it. here. Who wants to do the strength check at risk of really putting the hurt on him? Oh, shit. Not me. I'll do it. I, and Daphne's the beefiest out of us, so. Am I, though? Yeah, I think so. What's your strength modifier? Plus two. Okay, that's, you're beefier than Zadar. Amazing. Um, eight. <laughs> uh, you're going to cause D12 damage to him. Oh. Awesome. Only four damage this time. Uh, you want to try again? He screams in pain again. Oh, my leg. Oh, my dick. Oh, my dick. Oh, all right. This time's 20, not natural. Ah, uh, yes, you managed to alleviate the pressure on his groin. One more roll, please, to get his legs out. Oh, does he really need legs, though? You want to carry see. him? I don't want to carry well, him. Well, we could also incorporate the uh, medieval wheelchair. Yeah, why not? Really, really piss Taryn off. 15. Uh, you managed to free his legs. Oh, thanks. I thought I was going to die there. Hey, why are you so banged up? I feel like I could be asking you the same. Well, I was trying to dig our way out and it collapsed on me. Maybe next time you should uh, hang out with us and wait. <laughs> so Maybe there like, won't be a next time. Maybe next time you'll be stuck in that hole still, all the so, way sending to hell where I come from. So, says the one who walked away from everybody else. Yeah. And, <laughs> and got took her the... shit pushed in. <laughs> and also took the time to fillet a bear while everybody else was fighting. So. Fighting, yeah, you know, unimportant. But look, Zadar, I made you this beautiful headband. You know, Zadar, it's like Zadar, the it, bear ears, like, you know, it's like a bear. Zadar <laughs> is touched and he's like, yes, all right. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you have like uh, kitty ears, but they're bear ears. Yeah, they're bear ears. They're full of bear ears. So. Uh, uh, Nebby asks Thanks. to be healed. He asks? Yeah, he's hurt. 
Is he yeah. really that My bad? <laughs> Isn't Zadar bad? Maybe uh, Zadar, I suggest... Zadar is bad, but I mean... I Everybody's she... bad. I don't think Camille got hit, so she's okay. I, yeah. think, I think I got a healing potion. Should we take a short rest? Uh, yeah, but not in ob obvious sight. <laughs> Well, the crevice not, is not plain sight. So there's the far end that you haven't investigated yet, where the bad smells coming from. I feel like it's where all the dead bodies are from the bears. Probably or bear poop. I would vote bear poop. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm all for just finding some place to to like kind of recoup for ten minutes. I mean, not 10 minutes, uh, an hour, because that's a short rest, right? Yeah, I'll give you a short rest. Okay. Uh, the building itself has two holes, uh, not huge holes, in the ceiling. Uh, the crevice is now filled. You have no idea what's at the far end. Um, so, I mean, investigation would probably be needed to determine whether or not this is a safe place. Right. I guess we all investigate. If we work together, guys. Uh, no. everybody no. roll investigation, please. 25. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Let's see what my stats are. Uh, let's see. Investigation. Uh, okay. Uh, 18. Um, hang on. Oh, Daphne, what was yours? Nice. 20. 25. Uh, all three of you realize a couple of things. Uh, a, uh, the only entrance is now chock full of nuts, i.e. the chasm. Uh, the bronze doors are shut and have a rather hefty timber securing it. Uh, and the stench is indeed coming from prior kills of the polar bear. There are no signs of uh, little care bears floating around. Uh, there Liar. Are multiple skeletons uh, of animal carcasses and one skeleton that seems uh, ogre-ish size. I take them and I lay them out and I start playing music. So you're going to play wow. the bones. Mm -hmm. Just going to play the bones. Huh? Yep. Uh, D12 against me. Let's see if you uh, your melodic ability conjures anything from above. Uh, one. One. Uh, I'll give you a pass. You guys hear a screech in the sky above. Uh, but like I said, the holes aren't big enough for uh, beasts to come in through. Just snow. Uh, it looks like the snow has now stopped. Uh, yeah, I forgot snow. The floor is covered in blood. Uh, Camille, you still have Wait. Zadar's dagger. <laughs> Oh, it is good that I chopped up the fur. Then can I give Camille cute little mittens that are basically the bear paws, but I like cut out the fingers so like her the claws are there, but then like her fingers can come Cause through. Because I'm tiny. Yeah. Well, you could if you had time to do it. I uh, feel like I've had all this time. Can I just do it? No, you had to hack it up. Do you have a uh, thread and needle? <laughs> uh, I can't just like gut it out and cut it or slice little holes open. It's just like the regular bear paw and I'm just like slicing finger holes to come through. You can, but if you take it to a regular tailor, they would be make it they would make it classy. All right. It doesn't hold. need to be classy. You don't want it classy cuz I'll hold on till we can get into town. It's up to you. I think it'd be so cute and it could be like Okay. We'll wait. All right. So Zadar's got his ears. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got my furry boots. Camille will eventually get mixed. Well, and you do have the main pelt on the female. That okay. came off intact. Do I wear it? Do I look like a bear if I put it on? Uh, you're tall, so yeah, you know, it, it still needs cleaned up. Hem needs work Intimidation on, factor. Like yeah, it's got some blood dripping on me. I, I pressed to like... digitate it, you know. Pss. Yeah, you know, get some of the blood out, you know. That was part of the aesthetics. <laughs> you know, it's still there, it's just not gooey, you know. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so you guys are going to take a short rest? Yes. How does that, that work? Uh, one hit die? So is that uh, one hit die roll? Half, half your hit die. Oh. Oh, half of the total? Okay. Half of your total, so three. Okay. You can take three hit die. All right. Short rest. So everybody take their, well, Camille, you don't need it, but Daphne and Zadar, did you get your half hit dies? Um, <clears throat> yes, I think so. Uh, Nebby's not feeling that great. <laughs> I'm still hurt. He's such a whiner. He can hear you. I don't care. You're a whiner. Right, Weezer? Uh, but is he healing too? I mean, does he get the mutant healing factor too? Yeah, he rolled a two. Oh. oh. Dice well, give us, dice take it away. Well, maybe Daphne can help him. I don't have any healing. She's already touched herself. <laughs> <laughs> I do cure wounds on him. Uh, now you'll notice that there are painted murals on the side of the he gets eight points. Eight more? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. That's ain't nothing. Uh, you notice that this must have once been a regal environment. Uh, the holes are strategically located in the ceiling where maybe uh, big uh, hanging candle wheels once stood, uh, hence the weak point of the ceiling. <laughs> But uh, any remnants of that illumination are gone. You still have the stone throne that Daphne attempted to climb twice. And you have the brass, brass studded doors. We could take the bones and make a ladder and use that to climb up to the chair. Okay, Scooby Doo. All right. Let's go to the doors. Yeah. If they have a good uh, um, maintenance person, the doors should swing easily. They would, but about nine feet up is a hefty yeah, timber that uh, secures it. Good news is uh, it affords you a great deal of security. So we're locked in, so, you know. Are we locked in or are we locked out? Yes. Depends on your perspective. <laughs> so we're locked in, but if we want to get out, we have to open the doors. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yep. All well, right. How tall is Daphne? Uh, she's a uh, man size, I think. About six feet, aren't you? Or yeah, you I feel taller? like I'm like six foot. So if it's nine feet, her and Zagar could probably open the door. Mm, most likely. I mean, we can try it. Yeah. It would take an intelligence check to figure out uh, the uh, hypotenuse and the aerodynamic movement. Wow. How high would a tensor's floating disc lift us? Would that give us any lift? Uh, there's a Five weight feet. limit on tensors, isn't there? I uh, bring out my... It's, a, it's like, it, it, it's <laughs> large. <laughs> it, <laughs> uh, it is large. It, it is I like... Fly. Fly. Yeah, I'm oh. looking up tensors. Oh, okay. Because I think there's a weight limit. There is, but it's uh, Daphne and I will not go over that, I think. I think it's like 500 pounds or something. Please, what do you think? I weigh 400. <laughs> uh, it's three feet in diameter and one inch thick. It floats three feet above oh, the ground. Well, that's three feet we don't have, so. <laughs> well, if she's six feet, uh, that would put her at nine feet, and it can hold okay. up to 500 pounds. Yeah. Being only three feet across, it's only going to hold one of you, though. Okay. Uh, so Daphne's taller than I am, so she's six feet tall. So with the additional three, come on. <laughs> she's already whipped out the ebony fly. Come on. Oh, then, okay. Then, uh, yeah, I'll give her a rope. <laughs> uh, Daphne, intelligence check. Not safe. Check. Yeah, we can either use the fly to... Seven! <laughs> here's, here's our thing. You could use the fly to 
kind of, you know, like helicopter lift the, the latch off the door, or you can fly each and every one of us out on your fly. <laughs> True. So right. it d depends yeah. on what you guys want to do. Do you want to uh, further explore this great hall or do you want to just GTFO? I'm all GTFO. Daphne? I, I guess I follow what everyone else wants to do. Okay, I mean, I'm inclining to explore, but I mean, we're probably going to run into something else that could possibly kill us. <laughs> or treasure. Or, no, or treasure. So mm -hmm. there is that. Before so. we leave, can I put some bones in my pockets? Sure. All right. All right. <laughs> I say let's get that latch off the door. How long does her fly last? Uh, six hours, but once she stops, she can't use it again for a day. Uh, right. Daphne, give me another intelligence check. Yeah, stay on your fly, <laughs> and we'll we'll try to lift that latch. Seventeen. Yeah, you figured out what you did wrong the last time, so now you've looped it over the correct spot uh, before you looped it in between the middle and that wasn't going to work so now you've looped it at one end uh you can fly the fly up the timber will uh, and slide out however daphne d20 straight up straight up wow couldn't be any more in the middle 10. uh good enough uh the timber falls and does not strike your colleagues thank god, god. <laughs> That was going to be 2d8 bludgeoning. Yeah, that would have sucked. Making you guys alive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, or killing us. So, so Daphne has removed sure not a vampire, the you know. obstacle. The two brass doors that are studded along the seam uh, now await somebody to pull them open. Um, yeah, Zadar is going to do their best to try to pull it out. It's pride. Gotta use pronoun. So I'll pull it back. That, it's July 1st now. Pride oh yeah, yeah, that's right. No more pride. Pride. Oh, well. It's just pride in my house all the time. But... It, it's it's the pride afterglow, you know, and Zadar's non-binary, so starts pulling it out. Okay. Uh, give me a That sounded card. bad. <laughs> it sounded very bad. I understood what you meant, though. Okay. Strength check. check. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm going to need some help because the, I rolled a seven plus two. That ain't going to do it. Okay. You almost gave yourself a hernia. Oh. <laughs> Depending <laughs> on <laughs> who else. Uh, Daphne, remember once you land that thing, uh, it's done for the day. Yeah. So I'm going to hang out on there. Be like, hey. Yeah. Stay on it. Uh, Camille. Your diminutive halfling uh, super strength of eight. You want to give it a shot? <laughs> yes, I will. Anything help. will help. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to give it another crack. D20 minus one, Camille. Sorry, Wheeze. You got to move your tail and your head. Wheeze. What is it? Flight of the bee, path of the bee? You know, I'm talking about that. Yeah, whatever. Uh -huh. 17. Uh, Camille understands balance. Uh, she finds a handhold on one of the soldered buttons, uh, the studs, uh, and uh, as you surmise, knows studs. it's uh, does know swings studs. open easily. Uh, a harsh wind blows in, blowing some snow into the hall, covering most of your tracks and some of the blood. There is an excessive amount. Uh, however, you are now out of the hall. You still stand in the middle of the plateau, surrounded by what you thought were uh, looming peaks, but it turns out they're actually close buildings. So you are in the complex of the Mountain King, as Nibby has pointed out. Uh, he wants to GTFO as well. Okay. 
You notice it is late afternoon now that the snow squall has ceased. Okay. Uh, more frost giant goodness this way. So, do we uh, want to the, proceed? The uh, complex itself is in a crescent shape. Mm -hmm. You entered into the plateau and went into the largest hall of them all. Uh, in order to continue to get out of the mountain pass, you must continue to the end of the crescent. Or go back the way you came. But I thought we were outside Fly the up crescent. The top. You are outside the structure. You are not outside the crescent. You are in town square. Okay. It's up to you guys. I mean... Y'all are the majority, so whatever you say goes. I think we need to hunker down until nighttime and then go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you want to go back into the brass doors? <clears throat> or choose a different building? Uh, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean... Uh, do I perceive any activity in the place? Uh, no, the snowstorm has left a nice, fresh blanket. Okay. So that puts us at disadvantage if we go walking around. <laughs> uh, I have my handy dandy. Can we see if people are walking around? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, currently, you don't see shit because the snow blanket has just recently ended and has covered any tracks, including your own, if you try and backtrack. Mm. Oh, well, fuck. <clears throat> but it is clear which way you need to go. Right. So, Camille, what do you want to do? Death? I, do we, we're, I don't, we're probably going to have to, if we're going to camp somewhere, we're going to have to find, seek shelter. I, wait, sorry, we're leaving the same way we came in? I mean, we can. I don't want to do that. I don't know. You don't want to do that. Okay. Right? I don't know. I just Well, you're on your We club. opened this door thing, didn't we? Mm hmm And we just haven't moved forward into the next room? You're on your fly if you want to fly reconnaissance. You know, do a like a quick fly around and see if you see anything. Yeah, I guess. Can Camille cast invisibility on me or is it only on herself? I have to touch you. If I like come by, could you touch us? Push it right off the fucking ebony fly. It's just gonna. Hilarious. It's just gonna look mm. like a like a giant ebony fly I flying reach around. Up and grab her. Okay. Uh, or if we touch the fly and it's just me, like me, like sitting and moving. Exactly. Around. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and hit her, Camille. Mm. You roll. Yeah. That's I keep fun. thinking of the I'm family. like a hand comes in my screen. <laughs> I keep thinking of the family guy, Wonder Woman, playing invisible jet. That, <laughs> Superman flies up. <laughs> so what you what doing? Gonna be. Uh, <laughs> it is an 18. Uh, yes, you successfully touch Daphne. Now there's just a giant ebony fly buzzing around. All right. Didn't think We're of gonna... that part, did you? <laughs> well, no. The, I feel like the fly is less. Who cares about a fly, right? Yeah. If you saw me, you're like, why is there a tiefling on this fly? Sure, sure, there is no birds of prey looking for a quick meal. Have uh, to be a uh, no, no. <laughs> Daphne, you take flight. Uh, where do you want to go? Is my fly really gonna get eaten? I'll cry. I'll cry so hard. There's yeah, don't no worry. Here. There's the, no birds. If it's the dragon. Oh. Eat you both. That's true. Hey, good news is you're up, up and away. You're in midair. Yeah. yeah. So I go as high up as I guess I can go. Uh, low clouds, so you don't want to go too high. Okay. Uh, your bird's eye view again shows that it is in a crescent. Uh, the structure that you made it into is a, a substantial building and seems to be near the center of this collective. Uh, give me a perception check. You know, I should have had the fly 
invisible and wear the polar bear while sitting in there. Ah. Yeah, because a lot of flying polar bears garner no attention. Well, you'd see, like, my butt and stuff, and then just, like, polar bear on top. It'd be very confusing, like a tail. You're like, oh, my God, that polar bear. They got the old Talosian uh, man hammock Mm -hmm. rocking. All right, sorry, what'd you say? Perception. Uh, It is 12. Uh, You see some fresh footprints near some of the buildings, Uh, but from this height, you can't tell what they are. But you know that if they're fresh... They've been out in the last 10 minutes. Okay. That's it? Wait, I'm outside? Mm-hmm. Outside. Yeah. So yeah. I can, like, go around the whole building? That's what you're doing. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then go up. I don't know what else there is to look at. Yeah, so you just see the crescent shape of the buildings. Uh, I don't Do I, I see any, like, big open windows? Oh, yeah. Everywhere. Can I, like, fly up towards them? Sure. And look in? Give me a perception check. Casually. 21. Uh, There's critters inside there. Not friendly ones. I don't know. You want to go say hi? I'm all for saying hi. Of course he is. Uh, Like, hey, let's lock you into this chasm. (laughs) Up. <laughs> hey, let's eat you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I have the um, map on the. Can other I side. cast detect magic while I'm like up here? Sure. Do I become uninvisible? Uh, no, no, that is that is not an attack. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do I notice anything end up being <laughs> of the magic? For the first building that you look at, D12 against me. Ten. And also, wow. Reroll. Six. Eleven. Ah. Uh, no, nothing yeah. magical in this building. Okay. So I go to the next building. I'm just gonna go to all, as many buildings as I can. Sure. What do I have to roll for all of this? Uh, the next one, D12. Okay. Three. Eight. Uh, very faint glow inside. Uh, there's also a lot of creatures inside. None of the creatures are magic? Uh, Petrodons are not magic. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> What's a Petrodon? Do I know what that is? Uh, they are essentially a, like an eagle with a deer head and antlers. Oh, okay. I was they thinking. are, yeah, not the dinosaur. Okay. Pet- Petr- Pertons? Pertons? Something like that. Mm. Uh, they are aggressive. Wait, I'm trying to look. Like- P E R Y. Do they have any friends? Yes. Uh, no, they do not have friends. Well, that's they live just in sad. Small clans. Paradon? 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 I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it. Don't ask me. But yes, that that's what you see in there. Okay. Uh, D12 against me. Let's see if they spot you. Well, they only see. Oh, wow. Well, I got a one. Uh, they sense your presence, and you can tell they move from their roosts and begin to move. Uh, any minute, they were going to head out the window at you. All right. So I guess I head back to everyone. At rapid speed. Uh, D12 against me to see if you get back in before they spot you. Eight. Two. Uh, you do as you buzz back in, Camille. Singing the song. That's what my fly likes. We sing. You're doing the green hornet. The green hornet thing. Yeah. Flight of the yeah. bumblebee. No idea what it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Flight, of the, flight of the bumblebee. Yeah. Okay. For flight of the bee. Flight of the bumblebee. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. Yep. Uh, you guys notice uh, the flapping of wings outside. It's not me because I'm inside, guys. That is not good. So, oh, yeah, I, tell them I, th- I think we should take the hide action. <laughs> there's a uh, deer bird people. Yeah. Okay. Crazy idea. I can press to digitate yet. So let's go into the cave bear den. I'll clean it up a little bit. We'll hunker down in there. 
That works. You go up, you go up against me, Zadar. All right. I put the bear thing on the fly. Although the scent may be good that it would keep away the pterodons or whatever they're called. So 11. Uh, you see two of them roost in the holes of the ceiling, but they do not seem to notice you guys. <clears throat> well, that's interesting. Nibby says, hey, let's go get some lunch. Hey, why don't you shut the fuck up? Do you think you can take these things? <laughs> hey, why don't you shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> really? So, Nibby, could you take these things? Uh, if they land. All right, Nibby. Go for it. I kick him out. <laughs> I could use minor illusion and create a daff, uh, I mean, a uh, Camille and sit there and just kind of wave hands and stuff like that. Yeah, they, they do not see him as he gets pushed out from the hidden alcove with a six on their perception roll. Okay. Uh, Daphne, your turn. D12 against me. Nine. How far away are they? Five. Uh, they're sticking around. Uh, they are 25 feet up in the air. Oh, okay. They I've... shitter amongst each other in their unknown language. <laughs> they do not see any of you at this point in time. Oh, these things are intelligent? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to eat a sentient creature? Oh, yum. So far, they are. That's how you gain brains. Uh, we do all the time. Yeah, you guys yeah. are zombies. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, you can wait them out and see if they leave or try and get them to land. I mean, we've got food. We've got two polar bear carcasses, you know? So so what are you talking about, Nebby? <laughs> so, uh, Camille, D12 against me. Three. Hang on. These are your cramping my style. <laughs> ah. It's a serious. Like design. a cat does. <laughs> Four. Uh, that beats me. Uh, both uh, creatures fly off. You are back in the grain, the hall of the mountain king, alone yet again. Okay. Uh, what what is our light daylight looking? Is it uh, getting close to eve, evening mm -hmm. or? Yep, it's late afternoon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Daphne, are you still on that fly? Um, I. I I would assume at this point probably not if I'm back with everyone. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay, you can't back use it until pocket. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. In between my boobs is where the fly actually lives. There you go. And it looks, like, it looks like a like beauty me. mark. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, so he yeah, likes did you, it there. Did you guys want to sit until darkness? Was that the earlier plan? I don't know. We need to come up with a plan. So, I thought we were going to try sleeping. I think it's going to cut your boob if you leave it in there too long. <laughs> uh, fly? The fly? The fly. No, he's got like free range, but he just kind of like nestles in there like it's a little hammock. It goes in there, uh, but sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, then let's just hunker down in the bear cave or whatever and Two hours, you guys can take two remaining hit dice if you need it. Nebby desperately does. Okay. Oh, uh, nah, not I anymore. I just need to get my, like, spell slots back. Not going to do it on a short rest. You can take a long rest and head out at midnight. Are these things nocturnal? Don't know. Do know never, never met them before. Nope. No one's read about them. Mm -mm. They're mythical creatures. Yeah. Mythos. Um. Yeah. I'm. What would y'all like to do? I mean, I, I'm the sneaky, stealthy guy. So, I mean, I could. 
I hate to fall to you guys because I'm short. What was that? That's what I'm going to throw at you next. Oh, Lord. One of the things. One of the things. Okay. We can't read it. Yeah, yeah, out of focus. So, and I'm mirrored. So. On purpose. Okay. So, did you want to go out at midnight or just take the short rest? That's to you guys. Let's let's take long, the short rest. I long mean, rest gets you your spell slots back. Short rest doesn't. It oh. says creatures appear in the dark well. Herbivores okay. impose no threat to humans or other creatures. No so. cheating. That is a guide. That isn't a canon. That is guideline. Yeah. Um. So. I do some deep internal meditation to see if I can learn some stuff. <laughs> okay, if she, she's doing that, then we're taking a rest. So. Okay, you guys take a long rest. Uh, it is a full moon out, and the moon shines brightly right on the throne. Oh, oh my no, god, I kidding. howl. Really? Mm-hmm. You're definitely Seriously? not a wolf. I got problems. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she you does guys have problems, problems because the acoustics in this building are rather loud, and you have an open door and two holes oh. in the roof. Let's see okay, if I maybe hear I do you. a baby. That's not what I heard. Uh, so uh, Daphne <laughs> gives a loud "ooh," and then you realize, "Holy shit!" Nibby looks at you and goes, "Why don't you ring the dinner bell? Are we leaving? When have you been helpful?" Uh, every time but the last fight. Mm. Okay. <laughs> you can rewatch the show in our archives and realize that Nibby saved your ass several times. Yes. Nar has not forgotten. <laughs> He's so. been saved and I healed him. He can't be that cranky. Camille's cranky because she doesn't have coffee or cheese. Yeah. Mm. Or so. hot guys to look at. Stallions. Where is what's his face? The stinky. Oric the stinky. Yeah. Don't know. That's where you're headed. <sighs> so, so midnight approaches. Uh, moonlight bathes the throne of the king. Uh, you guys ready to head out and hope that Daphne's howling didn't attract attention? Yes. Yes. Okay. You go outside. A pristine blanket of snow still resonates across your path, and Nibby. Nibby's pointing to. Oh, pointing right. I he look to move around the crescent and get the frick out of Dodge. That's okay. Fine. I agree. Uh, you guys trek ahead. Uh, somebody roll me a D8, please. Two hours into your trek, you have uh, left Debo Sif behind. You are headed down uh, the mountains. Uh, the snow is a little bit more sparse. There's still snow out there, but it's not thick, heavy uh, trenches of it. Uh, everybody roll a d20 straight up. Three. Uh, 16. And Nebby's 17. 11. Uh, Nebby goes, shh, and kind of hunkers down and points up. Uh, silhouetted against the silvery moon is a dragon. Oh, crap. <laughs> but maybe he's an ice dragon. Hmm. Mm, ice dragons usually this not called nice and dragons uh miss nomer is what it's called yeah. uh the dragon is several miles away it's an you... ice dragon not a nice dragon so yeah it, it keeps could like an ice ice baby it's so weird exactly but, but it doesn't seem to notice you or give two shits about you feels so thirsty she's like well is that a male dragon wow <gasps> Uh, you guys Thank make you it. With you. 
make it to the basin, uh, so to speak, of the area. Uh, and at first light, you have been traveling for eight hours and you are quite tired. Okay. Can we go to sleep? We're already after walking? Yes, as soon as you find uh, suitable cover. Uh, mm -hmm. Who wants to make the survival check? Um, uh, I don't know. Emil, do you want to make the survival check? No, I'll let you do it. Oh, great. Mine's Fine. only a plus one. My rolls haven't been good. <laughs> okay, survival. Only the strong can survive. That's an old song from the 80s, folks. Um, let's see, survival. All right. Go for it. Oh, uh, well. Oh, yeah. This is a great spot. You'll be fine. Not a problem at all. My God. Can we, like, double check this? Can I be like, what are we sure? Sure, go ahead. I don't know if my be that good not at all seven i just oh yeah this is fine this is, yeah this is fine this is not a problem best out. spot ever yeah. Really? yeah uh so you guys hunker down for eight hours who wants to take first watch who's second who's third and nebby will take whatever's left i'll take first okay second watch i'll take it third third Maybe you'll take last. Uh... <laughs> okay. Uh, Daphne, uh, the dragon has left the sky. Good news. Uh, you also hear uh, running water, maybe? Like a waterfall or like a river? Like is it dropping or is it a like latrine? Continuous? Like a creek. Okay. I'd be like, oh, it's so peaceful, but kind of have to pee. Exactly. Underneath the <laughs> snow, uh, the snow has covered a small creek. Uh, several areas have already defrosted, but uh, fresh, clean mountain water is present for you to drink. What tear? Uh, Zadar, uh, D12. Okay. Uh, that would be a big four. Nothing happens on your watch. Okay. Uh, Not the water just stops? No, it's a creek. Oh. Uh, Camille, D12. Twelve. Uh, man, it is high noon and the creatures are out. You see a herd of caribou moving. Uh, they are being paced by a group of wolves uh, about a half a mile away. Uh, but this overlay that you are on uh, is is pretty open. <laughs> uh, you can be seen-ish. Uh, but you have an excellent vantage point of anything coming up. I don't want the wolves to kill the caribou. Circle of life. Yeah, it starts <laughs> playing in the background. You go back to sleep and Debbie takes over. Oh, Lord. Uh, all three of you are, are woken up roughly uh, mm -hmm. as he... Uh, sh 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 down here, down here, down here. Why is there like another dragon? Uh, you guys all get up. You wander hurt. over to the plateau. Uh, you see a battle about an eighth of a mile down the mountain. A uh, battle? Like yep. ongoing or frozen mm -hmm. in time? Nope. Ongoing. Uh, Holy shit. There are six humanoid figures taking on what appear to be a pair of owlbears. Holy and crap. The, the humanoid figures are not doing so hot. The humanoid figure figures are they humanoid size or are these like giant sized humanoids? Eighth of a mile away. Can't really can't tell. tell perspective. And do yeah. we care? I mean if we want friends or enemies, maybe. You, it could it could be stinky. Okay, I'll let you guys decide. 
I, I brought up I brought up my point. I said it could be stinky. We don't know. That's true. Yep. So I, I guess care. we have to go in. How many owlbears? Two. Dose. Uh, I'm up for assistance because maybe we can, hey, it's somebody else to talk we to. We can get owlbear hats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want a, I want a owlbear boa. I want a yeah. boa, an owlbear boa. <laughs> well, they are made of feathers. Uh, yes. So you guys are headed down that way? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, like a fur and feather boa. Yeah, Nibby uh, hefts his axe. You guys are weaving down the mountainside like your Nordic skiers. Everybody, D20 for me, please. I'm going to slide on my ass. Like Santa? With your roll? Nerf. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> like Santa. Oh, okay. Yep, it's a three. 19. I'm just sliding down. 17. <laughs> Nebby 18. Uh, Camille, Zadar, Nebby, you manage uh, with leaps and bounds uh, to move over the crick. Uh, Daphne lands both feet into it. Uh, give me a constitution check. Muted. Oh, sorry. Me? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking. Never mind. Uh-uh. Um, seven. Uh, you're going to have uh, a problem moving around as you get frostbite on your feet. Uh, you guys quickly cover the ground and move in. Unfortunately, the battle is over. There are six fallen humanoids and two fallen Owlbears, both are pretty dinged up. Everybody, perception. Uh oh. These just all suck. Eight. Nine, perception. Twelve. Uh. At least a nineteen. <laughs> so. A seven by Nebby. Uh. The scene of carnage is pretty horrific. Zadar, you think you see one of the humanoids kind of chest rising, like they're still alive. All of them are face down or twisted. Uh, one is missing a head. Oh, shit. <gasps> you can make it into a puppet! He's thinking about hand puppets. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I checked the, the one that's that's still breathing. Give me a medicine check. Yeah, okay. Let me get to that. Uh, this individual has talon scrapes from the owlbear's claws across its back and is bleeding significantly. Uh, 14. Uh, you aren't really sure how to staunch the bleeding, uh, and this thing looks like it's going to bleed out. Oh, shit. If only we had a paladin next to the If somebody. only there was someone who cared about saving people. Uh, uh, you do we the... recognize in this individual space? I mean... As you roll it over, uh, Nibby has his axe and says... Crador. Oh, the cannibals. Right? Correct. So we don't save them. Now's your chance to end it. Yeah, I'm not going to save them. I take my hands off. I'm but like, are they really the problem? Maybe that's up to you. <laughs> oh, Nibby's going to kill them. Hey. <laughs> Nobody, nobody's stopping Nebby and uh We just all turn around like, whoa, what's in the distance? Uh you hear a whack and a snap as Nebby ends the life. It was a mercy killing. You gotta look at it like that. Maybe. Maybe not. Sure. You know. Maybe it was uh, Chieftain's daughter that you could have saved and mended the problems. 
We will never know because you let Debbie go ape shit. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, you know, I don't want to put that plot in your head or anything. You know, it's not like it was written down anywhere. So yeah, you know, it's probably it's probably the best thing for him, really. Yeah, because he was, you know, solid. She, she no, was Nebby. solid. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, we didn't get the pronoun until after. So yeah. Well, they got the they got the war paint on him. Hard to oh, tell. Okay. okay. Yeah, her name was probably Helga or something. Right. So, uh, Nebby then goes over and aside from the original beheading, make sure everybody's dead. He double taps him, choo choo, back of the head. John uh, Wick. John Wick style, pink clingering mist. Uh, and then he prods the owlbears. Yeah, they're dead. Okay. Perception check. Oh, Lord, Lord. Okay. Ooh, all of us? 20. 20. 10. Uh, there are only five bodies here. And we said we saw six? That's what Nebby thought. That's what you guys thought. I guess Nebby's an asshole. Oh, oh. that means that there's a As I have been saying. Six some, there's a six somebody out here. <laughs> so... Yeah, we're fucked, guys. <laughs> well, we, I wasn't watching him kill these people. I just turned around. Yeah. I was looking in the distance. So. So if they asked me, I'd be like, oh, I don't know. So what do you want to do? Uh, look around to see if there's any tracks leading away from the battle. There are a bloody track uh, into a small copse of trees. Okay. Uh, I follow it. I'll stalk it. Uh, the crunching of the new fallen snow alerts your presence as you come up on the small copse of trees a bolt comes shooting through the conifer trees uh, missing you horribly okay I've got mine ready <laughs> so <laughs> you know, not to mention my magic hand also because it's a, it's a hand crossbow so yeah, you, you, also, you also hear another death rattle oh shit uh, Nebby takes no chances and goes raging. Ugh. Charges into the small cops of trees. All you hear is... Is this <laughs> the same Nebby we had earlier? Yeah. Okay. You mean the one that's been saving your ass? Except he, the see, he, he, no, the one going... Maybe he just he likes hits it. The, he hits like the things. trees. Does he hit the victim inside? My second nat 20 of the night. So that would be a yes. <laughs> he comes out holding the head. Cradle. And, and the head is? This high? This high. What pronoun is the head? It's a male. Okay. He throws it to one side. We can continue. Okay. Okay. And that is a good place to stop. Uh, David, what'd you think? I think we're fucked. <laughs> That's what I think. If that was a chieftain's daughter, then yeah. Why, why just, would you think that? I don't know. It could be something our DM said. Yeah. <laughs> so, Probably. but uh, but I I enjoyed it. I mean, we made progress. <laughs> yeah, you got out of Frost Giant World. Uh huh. You didn't discover what the city was or what it held, but you did get out of it alive, which is a plus. Yeah. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Caitlin, what'd you think? Um, I'm glad I didn't die because I thought I was. You came close. Yeah, but I'm very excited to have these claw mitten things made. Hey, those are mine. I know. Okay. You're going to look so cute. Just so you know. <laughs> you could be like, scratch. Great. Yeah. And Carrie, what'd you think? I'm irritated. You're welcome. You'll think huh. about this for two weeks. And, and just... you don't care because you're married to me. Uh, no, I care because it is a mark of a good DM that the players think about the campaign outside of the campaign. No, because you're irritating your wife. Same thing. 
that's really there's no difference there uh <laughs> folks follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to shoot shit about D, hit us up on our discord if you want to buy our cool crap like a phone case or throw pillow shower curtain duvet etc it the link is down there uh if you want to be on a show a one shot like this saturday or on our talk show on tuesday m hobo inc twitter or gmail hit us up we will get you on Pirate Dog Dice, dice that really kicked the shit out of the party tonight. That's what they uh, did. And of course, Oddfish Games doesn't have uh, the best adventure scent called Failure, uh, but it does have some really cool smells. Uh, so check them out. Check out their shine system to write much more gooder and keep an eye out for their Kickstarter going live. Most importantly, do not forget about MurderHoboCon.com. We added two more events today. Uh, tickets are going to go on sale sometime next week. Uh, folks, uh, we got three bands, a comedian, and uh, at least 14 gaming events. We got yeah, vendors. Put on a burlesque show too, right? Yeah, you, you can do a burlesque show. Yeah, you can do it live because <laughs> our virtual venue has cameras. Uh, and truly, if you have not seen the venue, go to murderhobocon.com and scroll down to the videos. Folks, uh, I'm not shitting you. It's going to be rocking. Uh, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., catch us Saturday for a one-shot. Everybody give the dating game kiss and the wave. Bye, everybody. Producer, take us home.